Disciple Radio. Using media to make disciples. If you like what you hear today on Be Disciple Radio, please make sure to head over to iTunes and leave a rating. And if you really like what you hear, you can head over to BeDisciple.com where you can find out more about our ministry and you can make a donation. You'll be helping to fund future podcasts and a video teaching series. It's time for Be Disciple Radio. Welcome to Be Disciple Radio, where we make disciples of all nations using all types of media. I am your host, Corliss Gray. Uh, today, we're going to do a little something different. We're going to be doing uh, Seek and Save Saturday. So I'm, I'm just going to get right into it and let, uh, let you hear Jason get into some witnessing encounters in front of the Will County Courthouse here in Illinois. Introducing Million Dollar Act, Susan Shane, American violinist. She is popular on YouTube. She has top violinist students. You can contact her at totaltalent65 at yahoo.com. Go ahead, Susan, give us, a, give us a little show here. documentary here we're just gonna ask you a couple questions you, you game make it all right make it fast so we're just uh we're just gonna first of all start we're just gonna identify your worldview okay it's a documentary of the sound worldviews oh boy, all right you picked the right person for that oh you, you got an you got an interesting worldview <laughs> well yeah i think it's in pretty bad shape all right well let's start here um okay. do you yes you got, to point the microphone got it all right, all right so <clears throat> Do you identify yourself with any sort of uh, faith or religion? Just Christian. Oh, okay, so you're Christian. Okay. So when you say you're Christian, what does that mean to you? Well, we it believes that on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, we're open to any kind of inter intervention from a higher power. From a higher power, okay. So does this higher power have uh, a name? Christians call it God. Okay. Uh, is the Christian God to you different than, say, any other God out there? Like, maybe... Generally, no. Generally, no. No. So the same... So, for example, the Muslim God would be Allah. Would you say that they're pretty much the same or they're different? The, the idea is the same, but the principles are different. Idea is the same. Okay, so same God? No, it's not the same God. They have... They have differences but it's still the same idea it's 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 a way to give the people a, a structure of morality okay all right so you're christian so that would mean that you believe in jesus is that right yes who would you say that jesus is a supernatural power a supernatural power um what okay um can't go about much beyond that. <laughs> as far as who he I'm is? Supernatural, so I can't, I can't say any more about that. Okay. Would you say that if he's supernatural, does that mean he has like the power of God or um, yes. like, yes. is he God himself, would you say? No, it's both, no. No. He's not God? No. Okay. Um, how about, um, what happens do you think when somebody dies? I know that's a big one. Yeah, I really don't know. No idea? <laughs> Not really. Okay. Um, we'll find out when we get there. Is yeah, that kind of the it. idea? That's it. Okay. Um, let me ask you this. Do you go to a church of some kind? If you're, you're Christian, you go to a church? Yes. Okay. What's, uh, can, what's the type of church is it? Methodist. Oh, you go to a Methodist church. Okay. Um, do, you, uh, do you share, do you tell people about Jesus? Uh, Christians are... Uh, oftentimes we'll actively try to tell people about Jesus. Uh, do you do that? Or should you do that? I encourage people to to follow. I have encouraged people to follow. To follow Jesus? Yes. Okay. Um, but you're not quite sure who he is. Is that right? <laughs> yes, I know who he is. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I was just going back to you said that he's... Um, He's a supernatural, so you, you encourage him to follow this Jesus who's supernatural. Right. 
Okay, I understand. Um, so one last question. What do you think would be the way that somebody um, gets God's forgiveness? Well, they have to change their behavior. Uh, meaning how? Just that. They have to stop doing what's getting them into trouble. So stop doing what's wrong and start doing what's right. Right. And following the, the principles of whom, whomever or whatever they worship. So for, for you, that would be um, the Bible? Yes. Okay. So do you do that? Try. Okay. Um, so like, let's say for me, all right? So, if I were to follow the principles of the Bible to get God's forgiveness, like, what would you suggest for me to do? Well, first you have to identify what's, what you've been doing wrong and change it. Just anything? So, how do I know what is right and what is wrong, though? Well, usually the outcome of your, of your path of situations will, will tell you because you'll be going down a dead-end road. So, basically, the, doing the wrong thing. So the things that I do that, like... If I'm doing something and it doesn't seem to work out well, then I know that it's wrong? Yes, generally, generally. Okay. Is there any other way to know, like, what's right or wrong other than if it doesn't work out? Well, people might try to tell you. People might try to warn you. Okay. Um, could you say, like, what is one thing I might do that's wrong? Well, like drinking and driving. Eventually you're going to end up in a wreck. Okay, all right. So basically, if I, if I try to be a decent person, then I can get God's forgiveness, you'd say? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, have, you, have you ever heard the gospel? Or that word before? Oh, yeah, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I know it's four books of the Bible, but other than that... Other than that, you haven't heard of it? I've heard of it, yeah. But oh. I, I basically, all I know is that it's the four last... Uh, first four books of the New Testament, I think, or? Okay. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Okay, um, could I tell you what the gospel is? Yes, well, it's good news. It's supposed to be good news, but I think it's, it's put forward in the Bible through those four, four particular chapters. Yeah, in the Bible, the first four books of the New Testament are called the Gospels. That's true. I'm referring to something specifically like what is the good news. It does mean good news. You're right, yeah. Well, the good news is that if you follow the, the religious path set forth by your particular religion, that you will have good favor and, and everything will work out. Things will generally work out. All right, tell you what. But you have to understand that if they don't work out, it's for the better good. Okay, all right. I'll tell you what, you're here to play, right? I'm going to give you your time to play. I don't want to take that from you. But how about we do this? We'll do a little, quick little activity, and we'll end with this, okay? We'll go through the gospel, and you and I will kind of like walk through it together, okay? I'll answer some questions too, so you're not just the one hot on the spot, all right? Oh, okay. All right, here's the beginning of the gospel, all right? Um, we're going to go with some of the things that God says, like you mentioned, that there's some things that God says are right or wrong, okay? So we're just going to go through a couple of those things and see how you and I are doing. You game? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, one thing he says that is wrong is lying. Okay, he says don't lie, right? right. So I'm going to answer first, then you answer. All right, so here's the question. Have we, you and me, have we ever lied before? And I'm going to answer that one honestly. I absolutely have lied before. Okay, have you lied before? Not really intentionally. <laughs> Not intentionally, but you have lied at some point? Uh, one, one time. One time? Okay. Um, how about stolen something before? No, I've never done that. You've never stolen anything? No. No? No. Are you sure? I mean, did lie that one time? No. I don't <laughs> steal. <laughs> All right. How about this one? God says to honor his name. Never take his name in vain. So saying like, OMG, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Have you ever done that when you get upset and you go, OMG, you know, that kind of thing? Occasionally. 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 Okay. How about this one? God says to not um, love or worship anything greater than Him. Okay? So that could be music. It could be a person in your life to where you put that person before God as far as uh, your love or the uh, time you invest in them, that kind of thing. Have you ever, have you ever uh, disobeyed that one? 
Try not to. Try not to. You have, but you have. You try no, not, not to. Really? No. I was raised in a strict family, a very strict family. Okay. So so far, you and I have lied. We at least have broken that one, right? All right. So here's the the gospel's good news, though, right? So far, we got bad news. The bad news is that these things we that God says not to do that are sin. We've done those. You and I. It sounds like Everybody I maybe. Everybody does. Everybody does. Everybody does. Okay. So then we're guilty. That doesn't make it right. No, it doesn't, it doesn't make it right. Okay, so then we're guilty, right? So as you, as you and I, like if we were to die right now, something just crazy happened and we died right now, right? You and I would stand before God, who's, who's holy, he's perfect, he's a judge, actually says he cannot tolerate any sin in his presence, but you and I were, have broken his law, right? So this is the bad news, okay? So what's the good news? How is it that we can get out of this standing, out of this judgment that we would face from a holy God? Any idea? Well, like I said before, just change, change, um, change your patterns, your behavior. Don't do those things again. Um, okay. Have you heard this? Fair warning. I'm a Christian. Okay. Have you heard this? That all of our righteous acts are like filthy rags to God. Have you ever heard that before? No, I never have. That's, that's actually in the Bible. He says that everything, all the good things that we try to do, like changing to be better, they're like filthy rags to God. In other words, that will never get us in right standing with never God. That one. Yep. That's new, right? Here's the good news. I'm going to get to the good news, okay? The bad news is we've all broken God's laws. We're all guilty before Him. And we can't, if we sin just one time, that one lie that you told, right? If we sin just one time, we can't be in His presence because God's holy. In other words, He's a good judge. We're outside the courthouse today, right? A good judge... Would, if somebody stood before him and just did one thing wrong, would the judge be good if the judge said, you know what, you can, uh, you can just go, just don't do it again. Would you consider him a good judge? Yes. To just let somebody go if they committed a crime? Depends on what it is. I mean, that, that wouldn't be justice, would it? Well, I'm not a judge. I can't say. All right, well, fair enough. So here's the good news, all right, is although we're guilty before God, Jesus comes, he is God in the flesh, according to the Bible, according to those Gospels you mentioned. He's God in the flesh. He came down to earth, he lived a perfect life, and then he willingly allowed himself to be crucified, but he did this on our behalf, right? As a payment for every single one of our sins, right? right? So that one lie you told, or all the sins, I don't know your life, but God knows your life, right? All the sins that you've committed, he died for every single one of those, because the punishment for those sins is death, and so he died to take that punishment, right. right? Do you have any idea why he would do that? Because he wants us to prosper. He loves us. Yeah. He died for your sins. He died for my sins out of love for us. Would you say that that's good news? Yes. Yeah, right? That's, have you, can you think of any kind of greater love than God, who is perfect, who needs nothing from us to come here and die in our place. Can you think of any other greater expression of love? Not really. Yeah, that's incredible, right? I mean, like, he really loves you to do that for you, right? So, after he died, though, he rose from the dead, okay? And he basically explained to us how we can get God's forgiveness. Any idea what our part is? Just to worship him. You know what? You're not far off. You're not far off, yeah. Because I'm an ordained minister. You, you're an ordained minister with... With what organization? A National Association of Christian Ministers. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, but I don't have a church. I wish I had one. I can't afford it. I'm so broke. <laughs> wow, no kidding. Yeah, God's still working on that. Did they, in, when they were giving you this ordination, I mean, did, did they teach you the Bible at all during that? or? It wasn't like a seminary. It wasn't like a seminary. We didn't really have any Bible study. Um, they basically asked you if you believe in, believed in salvation and, and you, if you believed in, that Christ rose from the dead, and that was pretty much it. No kidding. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this is, this is Christianity 101 today then, okay? Yes. Right? Here's our part. This is what God says our part is. First of all, is repent, okay? Which means you have to recognize that you have sin before holy God and you're guilty, okay? And, and turn from that. But that does not mean to try hard to be good now. 
What it means is is you need to turn from your sin. Okay, that, and the second part is this. It's, to, it's faith. It's to trust that when Jesus was on that cross, he died in your place for your sin, all of your sin, and rose from the dead. Okay? So in other words, you can't be saved by trying to be good. You can't get God's forgiveness that way, right? He died for every single one of your sins, and so you trust that he died for all those, and he paid that penalty you deserve in full, right? That is what God says. That's how we get forgiveness of sins. Have you ever heard that before? Yes. Would you say that's good news, that we can have forgiveness from God by yes. repenting and trusting yeah. in him? Absolutely. Okay. So, Well, there you go. Have you ever done that before? Repented from your sins and trusted in Christ alone? Yes. You have. Is, and you, you, it sounds like maybe you just didn't know. Like, you know something about Jesus, but you just didn't know the gospel. Well, we didn't have a any kind of Bible study with, with this course that I had. There wasn't, there was no in-depth Bible study. It was just basic questions. You know, are you willing to do this or do you believe that? That kind of thing. Yeah. Do you ever read the Bible? Yes. Mm -hmm. You do? Like, just how often do you read the Bible, would you say? Well, maybe once a month. Okay. I'm just curious. Do, do you just sort of like pick something to read or do you read through a book? Depends on what I'm going through. Oh, okay. You just kind of open it and just see what happens? Or how do you go about it, I guess is what I'm Depends looking for. Depends on, the, you know, the situation that I'm, that I'm trying to deal with. I see. Okay. All right. Um, a good book to read. Have you ever read the Gospel of John? Parts of it. That, I really like Proverbs. <laughs> you like Proverbs? I like Proverbs. I'm going through Proverbs right now with my kids. It's a good. It's good. There's a lot of wisdom, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I would encourage you read the Gospel of John. It's all about Jesus and who He is, and it talks a lot about how we can get that forgiveness from God by by believing in Him and what He did for us on the cross. It's a great way to get to know Him personally. You know, I'd encourage you to read that. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time today, Susan. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. I appreciate your time. We truly appreciate you taking the time to listen to our radio program. If you'd like to learn more, head on over to BeDisciple.com, where you can read more about what we do. And if you'd like, you can leave a gift. A gift of any amount would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for listening to Be Disciple Radio. We're doing a little documentary. Uh, it's on worldviews. We were wondering if we asked you a couple questions. Yeah. You, got, you guys? Sounds good? Okay, I'm Jason, by the way. What's your name? Marie, Maurice? All right, what's your name? Sister Kelly. Sister Kelly. Yeah. Sister Kelly. Sister Kelly. All right, I like that. Right. All right. All right. All right, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just ask a couple questions, okay? Um, would you <clears throat> affiliate yourself with any kind of mainstream faith or religion? What do you think, Sister Kelly? Faith. A, a faith, okay. A particular one, like... Uh, um, would, you, would you say a Christian or a Muslim or uh, something Baptist. like that? Baptist. You're a Baptist? Baptist. You're a Baptist. Okay. All right. So uh, what does it mean that you're a Baptist? Like what are the basic beliefs of a Baptist that are like the most important? Let's say that. We uh, li uh, believe in living the righteous way. Living the righteous way. All right. What would you say? Believe in following Jesus Christ. Um, believe that he died for our sins, the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Wow. Okay. All right. So, uh, who is Jesus Christ? I mean, the, he's a very popular character. A lot of different faiths reference him, right? So, who who would you say Jesus Christ is? Son of God. Um, Mary um, got pregnant unexpectedly. So, the story goes that he, she was a um, virgin mother of Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Would you agree with that? Yes, I will. Okay. So. Um, so he's the son of God. Now, would you say that Jesus Christ is created by God? Well, we all created by God, but um, he's the son of God because she was um, pregnant um, by the Holy Spirit. Okay. Is Jesus, would you say that he is God? Uh, he's God's son. Okay, he's God's son, but he is not God. No. 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 He's not God. Okay. No. All right. Everybody know who God is. Nobody knows who God is. Okay. Um, okay. 
Um, do you guys have a church you go to? Yes. Yes, I go to Bolingbrook Bowling, Community Church. Bolingbrook Community Church. You go there too? No, I go to Holy Cross. Is that a Baptist church? Yeah, it's a Baptist. Okay. How often do you go to church? Every, Every Sunday. Sunday. Every Sunday. Anything else or just a Sunday thing? Wednesday too. I go to um, Bible study and everything. And then I go to Sunday school on Sundays. Okay. All right. So Christianity is big on um, forgiveness, right? Um, like getting God's forgiveness and so on, right? How would you say someone would, would go about getting God's forgiveness? What do you think? Repent. Okay, what do you mean by that? Repenting your sins, meaning just praying and saying that um, with forgiveness that, yeah, whatever type of sin that you did. Okay. So just repent, like just ask, ask God's forgiveness for my sins, and that's it. And, and have, believe, believe wholeheartedly that Jesus died for your sins. And believe that Jesus died for your sins. Okay, wow, that's cool. So, um, you guys believe in the Bible? Yes. Do you do you read the Bible? A lot. You read it every now and then. How often would you say? Once a week? No, probably twice a week. Oh, twice a week? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Are you, you got it in your backpack right now? Really? What uh, what are you reading right now out of the Bible? Well, um, I start over every time I read. I just start over. It um always a different understanding and a different um scripture I read it always give me a different um um terminology. Yeah. It don't never say the same thing over and over. Okay. No matter how many times I read it, I always get something different out of it. Yeah. Oh wow, that's that's pretty cool. So um so you read the Bible, that's that's awesome. Are you part of some kind of Bible study at all? No, I'm I'm just you know, I'm a Baptist and I'm I'm religious, you know, I I just believe in God. And um, I be at the church, and I just I've been in it since I was little. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So, all right. Two two more questions. All right. You guys have been great. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, this question: Have you have you ever heard the phrase or the term the gospel? Yeah. Have you heard that before? Oh, gospel singing groups. Gospel singer groups. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. My wife loves gospel. Uh, she sings it too. So what, what is the gospel? The gospel ain't nothing but the word of Christ. You know, you spreading um, the word of Christ. It's just like gossip. Like, you know how people gossip? It's gospel. <laughs> you know, they use that. It's um, spreading the word of um, the Holy Spirit around to everybody, letting them know that it is a God and Jesus did die for your sins. Yeah, that's what the gospel is. Yeah, that's the gospel. Yeah, very cool. You know, um... Before I get to my, my last question there, the we're just tell you, Corliss and I, we're Christians too. It's awesome. I love uh, I love hearing what you guys are saying, you know. Um, one thing I would encourage you in the in the You waiting for them? No, that's my wife. Oh, okay. Um, the the gospel, right, in the Bible, it means good news, right? Yeah, it's, it's good news just like you're saying that Jesus he died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead, right? Right. Um, and you're right, the way that we get this forgiveness is by repenting, right? Yeah. It's by repenting. I'm going to add a, one other thing to that, okay? And tr that's trusting, right? Yeah. Trusting that Jesus died for all of our sins and rose from the dead, yeah. right? Right? Can we earn our forgiveness from God in any way, would you say? Can we earn it? Yeah, can we, like, try to be really good and earn it? Yeah. Thank, thank you, Sister Kelly. Yeah, we can earn it. I'm going to sit here with you. I feel you can always earn everything, um, cause you know faith. Having faith is um, believing in something that's not seen. Uh -huh. So if um, I believe in something that's not seen, then I have faith in it, and um, I'm earning some type of spiritual communication with God. I feel so earning your earning trust. If, if you didn't trust it, you wouldn't you wouldn't um, agree with it. Okay, so let me just see if I can clarify what you're saying. Are you saying that when we trust in that Jesus paid for all of our sin, mm -hmm. we're, we're given salvation? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. So uh, what I was talking about was more like earning. So, for example, like I try to be really good, and God says, you know what, you're, you're trying to be real good, so, so I'm going to forgive you because you've, you've earned it by being really good, right? 
that kind of earning. Okay. You know. All right. Um, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Okay. Well, I'll throw out just a, a, a verse. Have you ever heard uh, it says that um, uh, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, okay, it says that uh, we're saved by faith mm. apart from works, right? Yeah. Uh, and not from works so that no one can boast. Have you ever heard that verse before? Yeah. You're like, you got to put in work in order to, you know, the, the um, everybody walked the walk. Jesus even walked the walk. And, you know, he had to put in work to... Um, Spread the word. That's what I feel. Well, here, let, let me let me say it again. So that we're we're saved by faith, yeah. and not by works, so that no one can boast. In other yeah. words, we're saved by faith alone. Oh yeah, yeah And yeah. not by works, right? Yeah. So like, yeah. in other words, I can't earn it, nah. right? Okay, yeah, I could. Yeah, that, that's how. Yeah. Yeah. So like, right. think think about this. Think of it from Jesus's perspective. He's on the cross. Yeah. He's dying for all your sins you ever committed. Mm -hmm. He's dying for all sins I ever committed. Okay. Yeah. And he paid a price of sin, which is death, okay, yeah, with yeah. his own life. He yeah. paid that, that in full. Actually, the last thing he said on the cross, he said, he yelled out, "What it is finished, which actually yeah. means paid in full in, yeah. in the Greek, right? Meaning he paid the price for our sin in full, yeah. okay, right? So then I come along and I say, yeah, 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 Jesus paid for my sin, right, but I also have to... I also have to earn part of that. Like he, he paid for 99% of my salvation, but I got to earn the other 1%, right? Mm -hmm. From Jesus' perspective, like he paid for that in full. That's kind of a slap in the face. It's like saying, you know what? You didn't actually pay for it in full. I got to pay for a little bit of this. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the Bible like teaches that the only way we're saved, and Baptist too, is, yeah. is just by faith alone. Like right. I can't earn it at all. Yeah. Yeah. So... Think about this for a second. If you have to earn part of it, how much good works do you have to do to, to make it? I mean, how could you possibly know? I don't know. I don't think it's, it's never known. I don't... Yeah, you never know yeah. if you're saved or not, right? right? But God says it's not by works. It's only by faith. So yeah. can you know if you've trusted that he died no. on the cross? No, I mean, can you know yourself yeah, that's that you've chosen to trust that Jesus died for your sins? Can you know that? I just have faith. I don't know it for a fact. But you know you have faith. But I have faith, yeah. Yeah, so if you know you have faith that he died for your sins, yes. then you can know that you're forgiven. Because yeah. he said, listen, if you trust that I died, that, that he died for you, then yeah. you're forgiven. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So this, this, when I say, hey, what is the gospel? This is the gospel. It's the good news that even though we're guilty before God, yeah. he has chosen to die for us. For all of our sin, pay that price in full and rise from the dead mm -hmm. because he loves us. And we can be totally forgiven, mm -hmm. right, simply by trusting, repenting and trusting that he, right. he died for us. I mean, right. is that not some really good news or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Amen. Okay, so that, that's the gospel. Yeah. That's the gospel. Do you have a question, comment, concern, or conundrum? Maybe you just want to say hi. If so, feel free to email us at question at bedisciple.com. That's question at bedisciple.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for listening.